more than the cost of the good or service. It should be a cost-based rate. No more than the cost because you can price less than the cost. Uh, it makes sense to identify those subsidies up front. Um, rates must break even over time, not necessarily each year. Um, your operating costs aren't static. You have unexpected expenses that are relevant. Um, you have usage that goes up and down. It's reasonable that you're going to have deficits and subsidies. The idea is that you track this and make adjustments uh, with your ongoing rates. Um, rates should not discriminate between users. We've talked about this a number of times, so I won't spend a lot of time here. Um, that's designed especially so that your federal users aren't somehow getting charged more than another type of user. Generally, for in internal rates, the normal, the practice, the best way to go is to have one internal rate for all users, or one rate for all internal users, and that avoids that discrimination. Um, surplus, the surplus from your service center cannot be used to fund unrelated activities. That could be a service funding a service. It could be a, it could be one service center funding another service center. The takeaway is that shouldn't be the case. Next slide, please. Um, so again, compliance challenges. If you look at rate setting, uh, where can you run into problems? Um, is the rate actually based on cost um, versus some other measure or some, again, actual cost or actual support estimate of cost? Um, do you have a cost study? Can you actually show a cost study versus saying, well, we're losing money and we know that um, whatever rates we're charging, we're losing money, so clearly we're under the market. That seems straightforward in some places, but it has come up on audits that there's no, that documentation needs to be there. Um, again, that idea that even though if you set a rate below cost, there's a chance that some of your users could be paying a premium for what they're actually getting. So they might be making a lot of, you know, they might have one user that's getting way overcharged and all the other users are getting way undercharged uh, and it would look like a loss. So um, the use of percentage or market rates, the idea of just setting to market, especially if, especially if you can't prove that um, what the cost is. Um, the flat user costs, I think we talked about those. Um, departmental surcharge and rates, if there's a charge or just sort of a tax added to it, um, that is not appropriate for a federal user. Um, unallowable costs in a rate, we talked about that. Um, depreciation on federal equipment on rates. And what we're saying here is if, if if you had a grant that was used to purchase federal equipment, you can't include that in your rates. Um, and then not factoring in non-paying customers. You may be talking about students or other users who use the service. The idea is that when you make that calculation, in the denominator, the number of usage should have all your customers. So effectively, you're not factoring out those who aren't paying and distributing the cost to all the other paying customers. So next slide, please. So other compliance challenges, this gets into a little bit more detail here. Um, these are kind of specific applications. Um, in one place, um, we had a case where a depreciation factor was used to adjust rates because a lot of this equipment is very specialized and the depreciation is somewhat based on how specialized and how quickly the market changes uh, for it to be useful. There is a little bit of a wiggle room and so effectively some institutions were saying, well, I'm going to depreciate it based on what makes my rates look the best and they were kind of picking numbers. That's, that's the costing violation. Um, developing, uh, the, again, the program income, Sarah got into a little bit. We won't talk about it too much here, but it's, depending on your, what, how your institution chooses to recognize and manage program income, that can be a problem if you um, are inconsistent with that. Um, un including unallowable costs in the rate, um, and again, mistreatment of subsidies or discounts, um, showing, uh, you know, making adjustments uh, when there isn't a true subsidy or isn't a true discount. 